Okay, welcome back to the basic edition tutorials. And today we're going to be covering, um, well, I'm going to be covering the vertical sum format. If you watch the other tutorials, uh, you would know that we've covered, for example, 1 plus 1 equals 2. Now, this is what I refer to as the vertical sum format. So we're adding these things vertically. Now, that's different from, it's a different format, rather, than doing it like this, but ultimately you get the same answer. Uh, and what I was mentioning in some previous tutorials is that this is a little bit more convenient, especially when we start adding uh, numbers that are more than one digit. Now if none of this looks familiar to you, or if it's completely uh, just gibberish, um, I suggest you go and watch the other tutorials first. So start with the first one, watch the second one, and then this is the third one in that series. Um, so I'm assuming you've seen the other two if you're still watching. And as I was pointing out before, I use this vertical format. So, oops, seems like every time I do that. Okay, I've got 1 plus 1 equals 2. Now, what I want to show you here is how this is actually more convenient whenever we start getting to two-digit numbers. So let's start with something like 10 plus 1. Okay? Now, what I've done here, the first thing you have to consider, if I want to add the number 10 and the number 1, is I want to line up the numbers properly first. So, for example, this column here is the 1's digit. And this column here is all of the tens digits of the numbers. Now, technically, um, this is there's nothing here, so you could you could put a zero there if you want, but normally you wouldn't. You would just leave it a blank, and you know that means zero. So I'm assuming that uh, if you're watching these videos, you know what the digits of the numbers are and how that works. If you don't, I'll be making a series of videos um, pretty soon about the basics of, of numbers and what they represent and working with the digits and all that. So uh, I'll assume for now that you understand how the tens and ones digits and all that work. So going back here to actually our problem, the first thing we want to do after we've got everything properly lined up is we want to now add vertically down and I always start on the right side, so the, the furthest right. Um, now what I would do here is 0 plus 1 and that gives me a 1 and then here in the tens if I add down vertically I have 1 and there's a 0 here or you're, typically you would see nothing if there was nothing there or 0 uh, but 1 plus 0 or nothing is also 1 so I have here 11 that is our sum so 10 plus 1 is 11 now if you've seen the other tutorials you notice that I use uh, apples uh, as a kind of explanation of what these numbers represent. So for example, the number 10 represents 10 of something. Um, it could be apples, it could be bananas, it could be uh, cars, it could be whatever you want it to be, a, a quantity of something. So for example, if I had 10 apples, and I'm just going to use dots because that way it doesn't take me forever to draw these out. If I had 10 apples, let's say, and I'm just going to do two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see this number here, 10, represents these 10 dots. And then here, the number 1 would represent this one dot, or apple, if you want to call it that. Now, if I were to count all of these up, including this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, you can see that that's the same thing as adding these numbers up here and getting 11. But if you notice, once you've practiced this method enough, this is much quicker and more convenient than drawing out a bunch of dots, especially you'll see when you're dealing with numbers like a thousand. Uh, you don't want to have to draw out a thousand dots every time. This method is much more convenient. Um, so the next thing I would like to show you, this is the basic, basic way of doing this. The next thing I'd like to show you is how to do this. how to do this, how to use this method, for example, adding two two-digit numbers. So if I wanted to do, say, 12 plus 13. Now, I'm just showing you, you can write it this way, but the convenient way to actually solve this would be to write it, rewrite it like this. And again, I line up 
the ones digits and the tens digits. See here? Here's the ones, and then here's the tens. Okay? The tens digits and the one digits are lined up. And now I just add down vertically. So 2 plus 3 is 5, and 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, you could, if you like, draw this out, and I'll just go ahead and do it just for you know the sake of illustration. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's this number, represents these 12 dots or objects. And then here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that 13 represents that collection of 13 objects. So if I were to count these all up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. You can see that it is indeed 25. Now, the reason I'm showing you this tool is because it's far more convenient to just use this rather than counting these up all the time. So that's the last time, I promise, you're going to have to watch me count up a bunch of dots. So why don't we just cut to the chase and practice a little bit with this actual method. So I'll just do one more for you, and then I'll give you a couple that you could try on your own. So let's try 25 and 12. Now, 5 plus 2 is 7, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So therefore, we have 25 plus 12 is 37. Fairly straightforward and simple. Now, I'd like to show you something else, because you may have come across this, you may not. But if you just write down any random numbers, you might find that you have you might run into some difficulty. And let me show you when that might happen. Let's say I wrote down 13 plus 27. Now, I've got everything lined up. 3 plus 7 is 10. But I can't just write down a 10 right there. Because then when I write a 1 plus 2 is 3, then it looks like I have 310 which would be very awkward um, when it's actually not 310 so what I want to do is not do that let me show you I'm just gonna rewrite it 3 plus 7 is 10 I write down the ones digit of that number which is the, ten, the 0 and then the 1 which I would have written down here I'm gonna put it up here that's called carrying uh, carrying the digit so I carry the one, instead of putting it here, I carry it up here because it actually it does represent a tens digit, as you can see here. So now I just basically place it up here in the tens, so now I have another extra ten in my tens column. So then I have one plus one is two plus two is four. So you can see, if you were to count this out and draw your dots, you would have 13 plus 27 equals 40, which is very different than 310. That is wrong. So don't do that. Do it this way. Okay? Now let me show you one more, just in case this comes across or come, uh, you come across this. Let's say we had 57 plus 28, just to make it more interesting. 7 plus 8 is 15. So the one, the 10 rather, but the one, the number one comes up here from the 15, and then I add down again. So 1 and 5 is 6, and 2 is 8. Now this process of carrying the digit can happen over and over and over. So for example, if I take similar numbers, 57 plus, let's say, 48, then if I add down here, I again get 15. I carry that 1, right? Then I get 1 and 5 is 6, and 4 is 10. Now since there's no more digits over here to add, I can just go ahead and write this guy. Okay? I can put him down here, so 105. Let me show you one more, just so you can kind of see how it all works. Now, all I'm doing is adding a, t a hundreds digit here to this number. So again, I have 7 plus 8 is 15. Carry my 1. 1 and 5 is 6, and 4 is 10. But now I carry that 1 from the 10 up here. See, this 1 and that 0 is 10. So now I say 1 and 1 is 2. This is nothing here, or 0. So that's 1 and 1 is 2 plus 0 is 2. So now I have 205. So go ahead and, 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 and practice this yourself. See if you can get the same numbers I have. And just try a few, former, 
a few more for yourself. Maybe try um, 15 plus 7. 17. Oh, let me make uh, give you an easier one. Yeah, 17 plus 27. Actually, I would start rather with, instead of doing this one first, I would start with 10 plus 7. That might be a little bit easier. Then do this one. All right. And then you got 17 plus 7. Then I would try 107 plus 85. Let's see what you get with that. So try those out. It's very important that you practice when you learn something new that you practice it. And you want to practice it because that's basically like kind of programming it into your mind. Um, just like, for example, um, when you ride a bike or play sports. The first time you do it, you may not be any good at it. And it's very common. Unless you're just naturally born to do that thing very well. But um, most people, the average person, is not born to do everything perfectly. So you m will have to practice at first. But I promise if you practice until you don't even have to think about it anymore, then that's the level you want to get to. When you don't have to think and you practice just so much that it becomes automatic. So keep practicing. And if you have any questions uh, or difficulties, place them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can and uh, enjoy. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, please subscribe and place a comment and rate the video with a thumbs up. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.